Hi everybody, welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, it's time to get dressed up for a good cause with the Mission Possible Gala. Sarah Opitz, Amber Greco, and Alicia Anderson are joining us with more information about this exciting event. Hey guys. Hi. Hi good morning. Yeah, morning. we got the whole gang out here this <laughs> yeah. morning. <laughs> Okay, so tell me a little bit about the Mission Possible Gala. This is really so exciting. Um, yeah, so we're getting, you know, having a little get together over at the Radisson Blue on December 3rd. Mm -hmm. um, just a good time to kind of recap on everything that we've accomplished in the last year. Yeah. Talk about like recovery, share some stories. Um, actually have a presentation on like what people in recovery are doing you know in their own lives so we would like to be able to demonstrate like some of their work and their own personal stories um, the whole uh, I guess you know it's, it's our first go at for like doing a fund a big fundraising yeah. event um, so we're really excited about it and um, we really just invite anybody who's interested in like helping out with those in mm -hmm that mission to uh, come with us so and enjoy the evening. Yeah, Sorry. absolutely. So what are these fundraising dollars going towards? Why is this so important for this event? Uh, there's a huge need really right mm -hmm. now. Um, we're seeing, cause like with our agency, we focus on all the social determinants yeah. that um, lead to or you know result in sometimes that struggle with addiction or substance use or impact in the community mm -hmm. and a big issue right now that we're running seeing is is that there's that struggle for uh, affordable housing yes um absolutely you see it in the news and so we're focused on trying to like bring in not only like an ability to establish some kind of housing mm -hmm. but also those really strong uh, services that are required and sometimes that's not something you can actually fund like yeah. so that's why we're looking for the community to help us out with those resources mm -hmm. and help us with kind of the street outreach piece or you know with our harm reduction or, or food pantry those volunteers are very essential too so yes very so important okay so you guys brought some stuff to display for our viewers this morning who wants to walk us through these um, I'll go ahead. So um, these are just some of the products that we distribute um, here in our local area, as well as we do a lot of uh, rural outreach in s like seven different counties. Um, so we have wound care kits, um, we have sharp containers, um, test kits for fentanyl, xylazine, Deterra bags, so it's um, safe disposal of drugs. There's yeah. Narcan. Um, we also have um, a few other options of, of things that are available. We have an exchange that a needle exchange program that's starting up, um, as well as some some other health um, pr products that we have available at the rec. Um, so yeah, this is just a little bit of what we've been able to distribute, um, and we'd like the funds for the gala would help us to accumulate some more products and mm -hmm. distribute those around the community. Yeah, how impactful has this been, distributing oh, these? It's been incredible. We actually, just in September, wrapped up our street outreach and we were able to distribute like over 300 wow. units of Narcan in the rural communities. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these products have been life-saving and it affects not only the person using these products, but the community at large too. Like when we have safe disposal for um, syringes and things like just the other day we saw um, syringes on the corner of uh, like right off the interstate yeah. we called the police over on Moorhead and they don't even come to dispose of those things mm -hmm. so letting the community know of um, places that accept these things um, having safe options not just for the individual but for the whole community as well yeah and those needs are more prevalent than ever correct you know, mm -hmm. substance abuse is unfortunately kind of just keeps climbing, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we're trying to do at the rec. We are at the Lotus Center. It's long-term recovery, which involves our community. Mm -hmm. and not just going to treatment and starting from there, but going to treatment, having the continued support of the rec, having the continued support of housing to really help these people really change their lives. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I mean, that's that's what we really recognize as, I mean, the vast majority of the people who work at the Lotus Center or the rec are people with lived experience in recovery themselves. Mm -hmm. They have struggled with substance use, they've struggled with mental health, they've been impacted, and they, the reality is like, we have the solution to this mm -hmm. because we've known it mm -hmm. and we've lived it and we know what works. And one of the things is like treatment is, 
just as part of that journey. We need our community, which is often found in the wreck. We need mm -hmm. the stable housing. Mm -hmm. um, we need a mission yes. and a purpose. And um, and that's you know part of what the whole fun you know this whole gala is about is, is celebrating that whole refining our mission and our purpose in life and how mm -hmm. we can also give back to the community. Yeah, that mission possible, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so the event is on December third, and you can go to Eventbrite to purchase your tickets. Thank you, ladies, for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we really appreciate it. All right, everybody, stick around. We have more North Dakota today after this short break.